Hi friends, it's Jodi with you today with a celebration card set using the June 2019 Kits for Hip Kit Club. My jumping off point for this project is to use some mixed media elements and I've done that by pulling the stencil from the June colour kit and some of the Lindy Stamp Gang's Magicals. So I'm using the Hottie Patootie Hot Pink and the Summer Love and Sun Magicals. And I'm just mixing them with some texture paste. You can see that I've actually got a really pastel pink colour there and I'm working with a more subdued colour palette so I didn't want to go for really bright colours on this project so I've only used a very small amount of the Magicals powders. Um, you can see there I've done a couple of extra colours. I did the apricot colour as well using a previous colour kit but I didn't end up using that and I've got the yellow there as well. So you can see now that that has dried, I've punched out some circles in the pink for this card and I've just pulled a few elements from the kits that I want to use across the entire card set. So some things like the beautiful holographic scripty phrases or words, um, the faux suede flowers from Amy Tangerine. And I've also focused really heavily on the stickers from the Heidi Swap sticker book that comes with the Project Life kit this month. Uh, it's really awesome and even has two separate alphas in it. Um, one of those is what I'm cutting out there at the moment. Another thing that I've put on each card is a frame. And on this card I've used one of the layered frames from Pink Fresh Studio. But I've actually taken all the layered elements off it because all I really needed was the frame itself. card set I don't have any particular design or layout that I'm working towards. I'm just wanting to use all of the elements that I've pulled to use on the cards in a pleasing manner. Really I'm just cascading or layering them across the card. You can see the frame that I'm using in this one that was one of the Pink Press Studio layered frames and I mentioned earlier that I've just pulled off all of the layered elements on it. They were stitched originally, so what I've done to kind of mask that is just stitch over the original holes that were left with a gold thread and it really doesn't look out of place at all and adds a lovely, pretty textural element to each of the frames. With the holographic scripty word there that says day for this card, that is part of my sentiment and you can see that I've just adhered some of the, the alphas from the Heidi Swap Colour Fresh sticker book just to some white cardstock and then I've cut around them. That's a really handy technique to use if you're wanting to put together some alphas into some kind of title to add to a project. It really looks kind of cute I think. And that's how I've come to put my sentiment together for this card. And it just says, it's your day, which fits in with the celebration theme for my card set. I've used a bunch of circle elements on these cards and a lot of them come from the Heidi Swap sticker book. And all I've done is just stuck them onto some white cardstock and then use my circle punches to punch them out just slightly larger. So that they have a white border. The largest circles in I think all of the cards I've actually also hole punched and turned them into a little circle tag kind of element and just threaded some white thread through them and I think that looks pretty cute with them just popping up on top of the card there. I'm just playing around with placement here of the final few elements and then I just take those straight back off again and I'm going to add some Heidi Swap Colour Shine. Um, it seems pretty appropriate since I'm using a fair bit of Heidi Swap's products on these cards and I really adore using Colour Shine whenever I can. So now that that's done I'm just finishing off with a few pops of colour and little elements adding my beautiful faux suede flower back on and that is pretty much this card done.
I'm loving how I was able to pull some more muted colors from the kits this month. They are really quite bold and as much as I love bold colors, I also like to play with muted colors a lot of the time as well. So uh, I'm glad that I was able to pull these muted colors for this project. Just pulling a few more things from the Heidi Swap sticker book there. Some of those sweet heart enamel dots from Amy Tangerine. And then I end up deciding to tie a bow for my tag. And I love that that just looks that little bit sweeter. And that is just about my card done. The second card has a lot of similar elements from the kits that I've used on the first one. I have actually used some Summer Love and Sun Lindy's Magicals over the stencil to create that pattern and circle punch those out. Uh, you can see that I've got one of those scripty words again and circle elements, uh, the Heidi Swap letters and a frame from the kit as well. I'm using some embroidery floss to hand stitch around the edge of that banner there and I decided to use a, quite a lemon colour to bring some more yellow into the card. There's yellow from my mixed media already and there's also a pop of yellow on the little rainbow on the Heidi Swap stamp element but I also wanted to bring in some more yellow just to make the whole design more cohesive with colours. This green frame that I'm using for this card is smaller than the Pink Fresh Studio frames that I have on my other two cards. So I've decided to just bump it out a little bit with a white cardstock border. And that just makes it sit that little bit bigger on the card and fill a slightly bigger area. I decided to cut the center out of my frame so I can have some sort of a see-through element there. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it at the moment, but I knew that I didn't want to have a solid white background behind it. I'm just adhering the green frame to the white background now. And I also decide to use, stitch it with some gold thread since I stitched my other frames with gold thread as well to cover up the holes that I created when I pulled them all apart. And so you can see there that now I've got a couple of rows of gold stitching. It's not really hugely, it doesn't stand out a lot on the frame, but it just adds a nice little extra touch. Right about now, I start thinking that my little frame there would make a perfect shaker pocket. And I do have some sequins left over from the May 2019 embellishment kit that had a beautiful rainbow sequin mix in it. And so I'm just cutting a background piece to the frame and having a look what colours I'd like to put in, in my little shaker pocket here. I do that a bit. I often don't use the entire range of colours in a sequin mix. So I just pick and choose a few different ones. It can be a little bit tedious to pick out the colours that I want, but it doesn't take too long. And I'm someone that likes to have really only a few colours on my projects. I don't like to put all the colours on all the projects all the time. I generally stick to three or four colours and that's just my style. Now there's nothing complicated about making a shaker pocket at all. All you need is something for the top to hold the shaker contents in and something on the back to seal it all in. I normally even use just packaging from scrapbooking products, but I searched through my bin and I think I must have thrown all of my packaging out. So I also keep some acetate handy just in my stash and that's what I've pulled out today because I couldn't find any packaging. So I just adhered that to the frame. I cut it to size obviously. And then you just need some foam tape to create the little hole for your shaker contents to go into. And it's a good idea to make sure that all of those foam tape pieces do match up, especially if you're using something like a glitter in your shaker pocket. 
so that all the little bits and pieces can't escape. Then once you've got all that done, you just need to stick a piece of cardstock on the back and that's your shaker pocket done. So I've just been playing around adding bits and pieces that I had pulled into my mini kit for these cards and layering them across the design. And I also just finished this card off with some Heidi Swap Colour Shine as well to keep in theme with my set today. My third card has a stitch banner on it as well and I'm just quickly stitching that out in a pewter coloured embroidery thread and for this card I'm also using one of the Pink Fresh Studio frames that I've pulled all the extra elements off and stitched some gold thread on there to cover up the holes that were left as well. My main sentiment on this card is you're the greatest and I also end up adding in a couple of extra little stickers and phrases that it ends up saying hello there friend oh yeah you're the greatest. I really love putting this celebration card set together. Here's a few close-ups. I will leave links in the description below for all of the products that I've used in these cards and be sure to check out the hip kit website because the July kits are just about ready to ship as well and I can tell you they are amazing. Thanks for stopping by today guys!